looking at real quick here is a fix that I'm doing for a friend. Um, this is the uh, APS UAR. And <clears throat> I sold this uh, to a friend of mine, his girlfriend, and she said the, it's just, she lost, you know, she picked it up and it stopped working. So first thing that I noticed is, and I'll show a picture of it right here, is the center pin was missing. Now, I'm not quite sure what the heck happened to it, if it just fell out in the case, if she's got it, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So what I did, I, I've noticed when I used to have this, uh, the pins used to stick out a little bit. And I used to bump it with my hand, bump it, you know, depends on what side it was on. It's the same size as the one in the rear, so they were interchangeable. But this short one is up front, and this is really tight. This, is, this one doesn't actually come out. Uh, so what I did on this particular one, and I'm going to show a picture here after I explain it, is I put a bolt in with a nut, and I did cut it off, and you're going to see that right now. As you can see, I put the bolt in there and it was sticking out. And what I did is, you can see here, uh, it's kind of tough, which I will zoom in a little bit. You can see the black right there. Uh, I've cut the, the nut, I've heated up a little bit and let it countersink into the plastic a little bit. Then I tighten it up and I ground it off a little bit. And I just put a little black uh, uh, marker on it. And basically, on the other side, it has the head, here let me, has the head right there, let me zoom in, okay there you go, right there. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, and it works like a champ now, so uh, what you have is, uh, all the way down here is semi. Full auto. Didn't put it on full auto. It, it's in between those two. There's safe. There's full auto. There is semi. So it's one of those things that it's a little funky because it's got this linkage all the way back here to the version 3 gearbox. Now this version 3 gearbox is a quick change spring. So by taking this pad off the back, she can just unscrew uh, the piece on the back. It's a flat, and the spring will come out, and she'll be able to change the different FPSs. And I did include another spring for her in here if she wants to do it. Now, this particular thing has a bunch of wire in here, and I hollowed out this spot here so we can put a battery back here. It was originally wired to the front, which was a pain in the ass, so we actually have it wired to the back right now. So... It's working like a champ, all fixed up, and she'll just have to come and pick it up then, down the road. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, you guys have a good day.